What's up dudes, hold fast here and welcome back to another <clears throat> Minecraft video. Today I'm showing you guys a simple, easy, and uh, somewhat efficient uh, village spawner slash golem spawner. Uh, we're in my little uh, redstone creation world here and uh, I thought I'd just show it off. It's very simple to make, very easy to make, very um, cost effective to make as well. Um, and it also doubles as a uh, villager sorter if you're looking to build any kind of market with villagers that you like. So I'll first show you guys how this kind of works. Um, basically, all of these villagers here have uh, have been put here by uh, by spawning. I, I started this whole thing with just two villagers, and uh, over time, over a long time, we have we now have this many. We have a bunch. One, two, three, four, five, a bunch. <laughs> basically, how this works is. Um, each little area here, so one, two, three, four doors and two blocks in the center, that equals um, four houses. So each door here is four houses. So that's four, 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 four. four. Um, so the more doors and center blocks we have, the more houses it counts as. And um, one, uh, one golem will spawn per 10 villagers and 21 houses. So this is only big enough to, to house one golem so far, but if I added a few more rows of this, actually probably just one more row, um, you'll get uh, another golem. So very uh, cool if that's what you're looking for, because you can expand this thing as big as you want. Uh, so let me show you uh, how this works. So you need, uh, I don't have the number on me how many uh, houses and doors it takes to spawn villagers, but um, I will put it up on the screen right now just so you guys are aware. Uh, from there, um, I've lured them into these little chambers here, and basically the way I did that... I'm missing one there. Hmm, I think that was a baby. Strange. Uh, basically what I did is opened up all these gates, all these iron doors, because they can't get in or out, and they, uh, they, they're, the villagers are naturally attracted to these doors. So... Uh, once the villagers kind of come in, you just kind of stand here and watch, you hit the button. You can also hook this up for um, pressure plates or something like that for these doors to close to lock them in. There's, there's many different ways, possibilities you can do with pistons and tripwire and stuff like that, but this is the way that uh, we did it here. Um, and then from there, they're just kind of chilling, walking around. They can't go anywhere because of these uh, glass blocks, and it doesn't really look like they want to go very far anyways. Um, from here, what you can do is come up here and uh, you can select your favorite ones. Uh, actually, that's probably a decent one. So let's say we want this guy right here. Um, all I'll do is throw a minecart there, let this guy out, and hopefully he comes over. Actually, let's just do that. Say, hello, mister, how are you? He's not walking. Oh, no, there that goes. That's gone forever. Hey, get over here, my friend. <laughs> I don't know if there's enough space here, that's the problem. Let's just get rid of this door altogether. Hey! Hey you! Come here! Come here! Might have to put another door over here. Oh, now I'm all stuck. Mmm. I guess he doesn't want to hang out. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know why it's not working. Here, let's try this. Bring this one more, one step closer. Apparently you can't make the move. Nope. Why can't I make you move anywhere? Apparently they don't have hitboxes anymore. Hey you, come here. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm gonna end up killing the guy. There we go. So now we'll just push this that way. And that'll take him over yonder. Well, if it worked. If I didn't have these uh, minecarts just chilling here, then that would work. So let's... Try again. Push. And usually you would hit these with power carts, but we'll just send them off. And basically this works if you have a nice little uh, shop that you want them to hang out in. So he'll go all the way to the end, hopefully. Just chill. And here, we'll just break this. Break that. And now he is now stored for our, uh, our use in the future. So then you can just close this off if you would like. And come here. And interact with them however you want. Get your stuff. And you can continue. You can repeat that over and over again until you have. Ooh, no. Until you have all the villagers you need. 
it does take a little bit of work, but once it's done, it's uh, it's pretty good. So let's uh, see if we can get any more here. Let's see if we can get one more. Hey, you. You want to come hang out? I got some candy. Oh, let's get rid of that door. Candy? Okay, let's just do this. <laughs> it seemed to work last time. There we go. <laughs> so hitting villagers gets them to do what you want. That's just the fact of life. So then he's down into his little uh, playpen here, and he'll be here forever. Again, just get rid of that, get rid of that, and you... Oops, sorry, dude. You now have a permanently stored villager um, ready for your use. Ooh, unless you don't block it off, and then he's going to walk all over the place. <laughs> so there you go. Remember to block off your things. So that's about it, guys. Quick and simple um, villager spawn location for it as well as a golem spawner. So let's show you guys how to build it. Um, essentially, the only thing you really need to start off, two blocks. Let's grab everything we need, that, and that. Oops, there we go. Two blocks, torch on top. You just walk around, oop, not that one. Walk around, hit these spaces right here, and that will spawn, uh, that will help villagers breeding. You just need to uh, corner this up with uh, some blocks. Just go one away from from the doors. And you can continue to repeat that. So you would put another door right there. Um, a door that... Ooh, no, not there. Another door here. Here. And here. Put your two blocks in the center. And cap it off with a light. So there you go. That should uh, that will create um, village or not create villagers, but that will help them to breed. Uh, so this would be eight houses here. So that's four, eight. You need again. You need 21 houses to get an iron golem or a golem of any kind. And once you're um, once you're happy with your golem, if you would like to farm them, it's very simple. Just come in here, grab your stuff, piss them off. <laughs> Hit them a bunch of times with your nicely diamond sword, and there you go. You got some nice drops, some rose and five iron. And you will repeat that because they will spawn once again um, in just a little bit. So there you go, guys. A nice little village spawn location and golem spawn location. And they'll still have babies, too. Uh, so there you go, guys. I hope that helped you guys out for uh, your little motels, hotels, bargain towns, whatever you got. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions down below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.